Hi everyone, I am author Megan Reyes and today I'm going to be your writing coach. We're going to talk about how to write a story. We're looking at the video series Story 1.0. Story ingredients, let's look at the basics. So first, let's review our four story ingredients. We have genre, setting, plot, and characters. And as we know, we need all four of these ingredients mixed together to make a fantastic story. If you've been following along in the series, then you know we've already reviewed genre and setting. And so I bet you can guess which ingredient is next. <laughs> but before we jump into that, just want to remind you, today we'll be using story examples from the movies, Cars, How to Train Your Dragon, and Finding Nemo. Okay, are you ready for the third story ingredient? Drum roll. <laughs> characters. Yes, today we're going to focus on characters as our third story ingredient. And I have to say, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> so let's dive in. All right. Characters are who the story is about. Pretty important, right? You can't really have a story without your characters. So let's look at the different kinds of characters that you might find in a story. You have your main character and your minor characters. So over on the left side, you see main character is the one that the story is about. So even though you can read a book that has many, many characters, usually there's one main character or in, in my case, I actually wrote a book, Heroes of Haven Song, Dragon Boy. It's actually a whole series. And in this series, there are four main characters. So I don't mean to throw you off. <laughs> Sometimes though, you can have more than one, but typically you'll find just one main character who the story's mainly about, which is why they're called the main character. And then you have your minor characters. Uh, and these are the characters that surround the main character. And some examples of minor characters might be siblings, friends, parents, teachers, pets, and don't forget the antagonist. We'll talk a little bit more about the antagonist in a moment. It's kind of a big word. Can you say antagonist? And in fact, the antagonist is sort of another word you could use for the antagonist is villain. And so sometimes I'll say antagonist, dun, 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 because <laughs> that's sort of got the villain vibes to it. Okay. So getting to know your characters. So whether you are reading a book and you're getting to know the characters that you're reading, or if you're writing your own story, then one of the things you'll need to do is get to know your characters as you tell their story. So here are some questions that you can be asking to get to know the characters. Who is their family? Who are their friends? What is their house like? What is their personality like? Are they maybe super serious or are they really funny? Um, what are their passions, hobbies, interests? Maybe they really, uh, they're really into sports or they're super into science or computer coding. All of those things, passions, hobbies, interests are going to help shape the story surrounding the character based on what they're into, right? Um, you can also be thinking about what does the character look like? And one of my favorite questions to ask, are they human or non-human? In my story, uh, if you look real close on the cover, you'll see a little fox. Can you see him? <laughs> He's one of the characters in my story. He helps to narrate some of the chapters. And so I personally love whenever I can have animal characters woven into my stories. All right, but let's focus on the main character for a minute as we're talking today about, about story ingredient characters. Um, whether you're reading, again, like I said earlier, or if you're writing your own story, you're going to find that you will spend a lot of time learning about the main character. And here are two things that all ca main characters need. And so I actually encourage you the next time that you read a book, 
and you figure out who the main character is, I want you to ask yourself these questions. I want you to look for the goal of the main character and the conflicts that come up. Um, so let's take a look on the left-hand side here, the goal. So this is talking about what do they want? What does your main character really want? And how will they try to get what they want? Maybe they really want to open a lemonade stand business. <laughs> or maybe they really want to time travel to another planet. <laughs> the goal that they have can vary depending on uh, really the genre, which we talked about two videos ago. Um, you'll see different kinds of goals in different kinds of stories. But one thing that's the same, every main character has a goal. They all have something that they want. And that's not all. The second thing that a main character needs is conflict. So who or what is stopping the main character from getting what they want? And how do they respond? And these conflicts, you will see, most stories have more than one conflict, but you will see conflicts throughout the story, beginning, middle, and end. And that's what keeps our main character on their toes. <laughs> so let's take a look at our story examples and our main characters. So in the Cars movie, our main character is Lightning McQueen. ka -chow. <laughs> And Lightning's goal is he wants to win the Piston Cup, right? That's his goal throughout the whole movie. In How to Train Your Dragon, our main character is Hiccup. And Hiccup, his goal, he wants to make his father, the Viking chief, proud. And as you will see in the next slide, he comes uh, across all kinds of conflicts. <laughs> uh, our third movie, Finding Nemo. Uh, there's actually really two main characters, Marlin and Nemo. But we're going to look at Marlin for just today. And Marlin's goal is he wants to find his son Nemo, who was taken by a human. And so now let's take a look at the conflicts of our main characters. Who or what? gets in the way of the goal, of the thing that they want. So for Lightning McQueen, his conflict is that he's stuck in Radiator Springs until he fixes the road that he has ruined when he first showed up. Hiccup, his conflict, is that he's not very good at being a Viking. And then he befriends a dragon, Toothless. And in his village, Dragons are considered the enemy. So him becoming friends with a dragon creates all kinds of conflict and problems for poor Hiccup. And then thirdly, in Finding Nemo, Marlin, his conflict is that he is scared of just about everything. <laughs> poor Marlin. And so his goal of trying to find his son Nemo, um, he encounters many conflicts, most of them funny and hilarious, <laughs> along the way <clears throat> in the ocean. And so he has to overcome those conflicts. So that wraps up our story ingredient character. And next time we're going to dive into our fourth and final ingredient plot, which is a super important one. For those of you who maybe are ready to dig in a little bit more on these story ingredients, I just wanted to point out that I have another video series, how to write a story 2.0 that digs a little deeper into these story ingredients we've been talking about. So if you are looking more, uh, if you're looking to learn more about how to write characters, for example, in your own stories, you'll definitely want to check out the next series story 2.0. And there on my website, you can find a video called character 2.0 and you can learn a little bit more. So go ahead and check it out. Otherwise, if you're looking for me online, you can find me at meganreyes.com. Uh, you can learn more about me and my books. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I really hope I see you next time. Looking forward to it. Bye.